Welcome back to City Skylines with Sleepless Ronin. Well, uh, for the last time I ended my video, I finally came down and repaired, or came up and repaired this section of my city. Hopefully, it'll last a little while. I do see uh, one warning icon over here. Nope, two. But it's in a lot better shape than it was. No more massive swaths of unemployment and so forth. Or unoccupancy, abandonment. So... With any luck, this section can uh, sit back and do its job. I do need to do some more decorating. There's some patches that don't have like good decoration in them right now. But at least this section is relatively happy and not falling apart on me. I am proud of a couple sections I really like. I laid a proper avenue underneath the uh, rail line because I realized after looking at the description that, hey, this is... Elevated train station over avenue. Yeah, there we go. Make it actually elevated and over an avenue. Really like this rail track that's got these bars on it that, you know, put it over large roads. Use it several times on this map. It's really nice feature. And this train has got pretty good traffic. Definitely good number of passengers it's serving. I've added in a couple things like a little uh, Rokuan Temple King Kaku, which is pretty cool. Yes, whoever designed this actually put history into it, which is nice. It's drawing some visitors back here. There are a couple of like other touristy things. Like the Jar to Land. Which is nice. Of course, there's the... Uh, massive tower right here. Which draws in visitors, too. Got a couple nice hotels. I added some advertisements for the train line. I've added some more advertisements for the train line. on the And, and, the, and of course, the pedestrians that are walking along. I love how packed some of these uh, parking lot areas are. But we can see definitely more, more area I need to put greenery in. Probably a couple more paths should be laid down. Just for convenience. Yes, I realize this one runs underneath this building's built-in hedge. That's why I don't like built-in hedges too much on my buildings. I can do that myself, thank you very much. And I'm also noticing there's a tree inside that building. <laughs> Silly tree, you don't belong inside the building. At some point in time, I'll come back and decorate this area of the city up. But I think today I want to go and... Do some work elsewhere. I'm debating starting a section of town up here so I can actually get my ferries going, which would be really cool to have. Or if I should just finish up building this area down here. So I think we actually work down here. Because down here is nice, it's already pre set up. We need to actually get these trams more active. So we're going to work down here today. First thing I notice I'm going to need to do is I, I have this road here, but I'm going to delete it because I need to level this land back here. It's a mess. I could leave it and make it all messy, but I kind of like... I like the idea of, you know, the workers coming into, like, a district or whatever and saying, Okay, before we begin building, let's make sure that what we're doing is all, uh... You know, all level land so we don't have random house collapses. And so forth. So I'm going to do something. I'm going to take this one section of road. I'm going to flatten from there. Definitely means there's going to be a hill along this thing, which is fine because I actually don't want buildings coming from this main road right here. This, this main road is just a feeder. It feeds into smaller roads that actually have the buildings built off of them. Go right up to the edge of the rock. That'll be kind of like the edge of the area we're going to work with. Okay, perfect. I'm going to come in and I'm just going to Get rid of a section of you guys because you are not going to need to be around as I get some more buildings in right over here. Okay. Now we have a more level area. Grab my network picker. Get my road. Okay, great. We got the area to begin working in. We want this to be residential again for the most part because... You know, it's close to the river. Being close to water improves land values.
I'm gonna get some more parking lot roads. Because we're gonna create a parking lot behind there, but not on this side. I have a reason. I want most of the people parking in this one area right here. It's good enough. Realize that, but those are the wrong end. Boom. Parking lot. Very well done, parking lot. Good. Don't want too many part. We do want too many apartments up here. We want some of the larger, more luxurious houses as well. We're gonna try to keep these more tech houses this time. They're they're gonna kind of be like cooler looking designs. A little bit more. Advanced. We should forget there are also some nice one of those in the growable section. I heard the uh, chopper going by again. Oh, that little house takes up a lot of land space. There we go. Oh, look. Another forest fire. <sighs> I have got to get a second one of these. Hella things built because I am just watching my buildings burn constantly. There, you specifically water. Just you. Now what I want to kind of see is, I get some more paths built. See how many people are actually using my my tram right here, because it looks like just from like this little like that little brief glimpse, we definitely have more people using the tram. 
which is what we're wanting. We're wanting this area to feed the tram more. You can be asking, since I have this overpass, why don't I eliminate this like right here? Because unfortunately, there's a tram stop right here, and I'm actually not sure that if I take this out, people actually look to the tram stop. So I'm leaving it alone, just because I want to be certain that people can get to the tram. I'm going to turn this greenery into backyards. For any enthusiasts who really want to, they can walk all the way to high school from up here. They could also take whatever they want to, tram or whatever, but, you know, some true exercise enthusiasts might think that uh, biking or walking to school would be a good idea. And so I'll let them. I'll also give them access into here so they can come over to, like, the elementary school and some other places. Hey, look! It's already filling up. Perfect. That's exactly what I was, gonna, I was hoping would happen. See, I don't decorate everything all the same. There we go, some backyards that look completely different. Yeah, the slope is quite extreme, but I've lived in a place like that, so it's not unusual, in my opinion. And we've added one small area to my city. We decorated some backyards, which I think is important to look at some of the small detail work like that. Because while it may not get used all that much, it just looks nice to look at these four backyards and go, each of these people has a different attitude towards the one outside, out, the outdoors. I do kind of feel like I need to add a chair or two underneath that pergola. There we go. Good chair in front of there. You know what? I like that table and chairs. Perfect. 
There we go. It's four houses, four different visions of a backyard. I like it. It's perfect. It gives the neighborhood a little bit more attitude. I'll probably be doing backyards along these houses, and I'll do some sort of thing back here as well. Just to make it look nice. That's how I like about this game. Making everything look really nice. Okay, well, thank you for joining me for this episode. I'll be back again soon with another one. And uh, until then, keep building your cities. Yeah, there we go. That's a good ending tagline. No, it's not. I need to think of a better one. Someday I'll develop a tagline to say at the end of all these things. And the beginning, potentially, too, other than just, hello, or whatever I say. I, it was 30 minutes ago. I can't even say. Yeah, well, if you've enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you very much. And good night.